Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from BUView Gaming, and today we are gonna check out the demo for Metropolis. So, this is a sci fi adventure game that is set in year 5000, so it's a little bit out in the future. And apparently, humanity has settled down on Mars, but a group of archaeologists is headed back to Earth to look for a legendary lost city. So, let's get going. Act 1. Discovering. Hey cutie. Ooh, I'm liking the graphics. But there's also a lot of purple and I really like purple. <laughs> hmm. Looks a little derelict. We have a little cute teddy bear as well. Uh-huh. So it looks like they headed into a capsule and now they have landed apparently, I think. Mm hmm. That was probably Mars. Or leaving Mars behind as we would say. Okay, so we have a group of scientists. Let's see. Micro, Luke, Kalata. And this is Henry, which I think is the one we are going to be controlling. How's the expedition going? Henry. Just let me check. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. What was the question again? <laughs> Have you found any interesting artifacts? Yes, a beautiful statue and a pair of vases. Luke says they could be more than 3,000 years old. 3,000 years old? Here? You mean they're pre-cataclysmic? Total must be thrilled. The last time we found something this old, the Vice Dean took credit for the discovery, while Total went to get champagne. Well, he's still not happy. He's been grumbling all morning. So stay on his good side, okay? Okay. Oh, 2880. 2880. Locked. Sorry, what were you saying? What are you working on? I'm logging the data Luke's gathering, and Micro is helping Max plumb the depths of the fissure. To tell you the truth, Henry, I'm a little overwhelmed. I don't want to mess up the first time Total takes me on an expedition. Cheer up, Kalata. You couldn't do more damage than Total usually does himself. <laughs> uh, in 92, he got trapped inside a Sardinian sarcophagus he was studying. We found him fast asleep, hugging the mummy. <laughs> really? Total told me you were the one who got trapped and that he saved your life with his bare hands. What? He tried to convince me it was Cobra. He said she got locked in with a bunch of venomous snakes, and he saved her using a tin opener. Me? I was the one who noticed he was missing. Good old Total. He likes to play the hero, but if he hadn't got stuck in that sarcophagus, we never would have found the inscription on the lid. How's Total? I don't know, he's been all day he spent all day muttering at the far end of the site. I offered to help earlier, but he asked me to leave because I was breathing too loud. What's all that yammering about? Back to work, everybody. Okay, see you later. Okay, so right now there is no voice acting, but uh, the full game, I'll be here if you need anything. Yep. I'm really glad I finally got to come out on a dig. Okay, so the full game is going to be fully voice acted in English and then the, um, the text will have translations in a, in a list of different languages. And the full game is actually already finished according to the developers, but the one thing they're working on right now is the voice acting. So it is planned to come out later this year, so it's just a matter of time of when they finish all the voice acting, right? Is everything okay? If these readings are accurate, more than okay, Henry, the latest findings are two to three millennia old. 
We could be on to something big here. Hmm. Sorry, Henry. I have to read the locator. 24-38-896. Locked. If you need anything, let me know. Okay, and then we have Micro. Oh, who are you? The lady over here. Hmm. I'm Micro. Can I help? Sorry, Henry. I need to focus on Max. He's pretty deep into the fissure. I could hold the rope for a while. I can't pass you the rope. This requires maximum concentration. I can't let go until I'm sure Max has landed safely at the bottom. But... It's so dark down there. Max is so brave. How will you know when he's on solid ground? I don't know how I'll, how I'll know. That's why I'm holding on. What if you cramp up? That position doesn't look too comfortable. I'm a professional. The key is to stay focused. And to wiggle your toes a little. <laughs> they don't seem too professional, these guys. Hmm. The one in the middle is my backpack. Here's my geological chronometer. Could be useful. And somewhere around here... Hey! Where's my trouble? Did someone take my trowel? Why would I want your trowel? We didn't take it. I don't even understand why you keep it. It's obsolete. Objectively outmoded. I can't believe my trowel has disappeared. At least the geological chronometer was in there. I'll need it if I want to know how old something is. Aha, okay, so now we have something there and inventory is I. Aha, what is this out here? Okay, so we can click on something to use it. I don't know what this is. And then we can apparently scroll up and down if we have more than we need. Can also use, oh, oops. <laughs> we can also use oh it's scroll wheel i just knew it was the middle mouse button okay cool 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 so this is cobra Dijon. yeah it, from what i could see from the length or from the names it's like they have they have french names uh oh i missed that do you really something <laughs> okay any news you're late i stayed up working really late last night Toll was sure there was a cross-shaped anomaly on the Chinese vase we found. In the end, it turned out it was just upside down. <laughs> Never mind. Have you talked with Basecamp? I made contact in the morning. Would you mind asking them? I'd like to know if they need anything. Situation update, PJ. They say they're fine, Dishong. They're always fine. Hmm. Shouldn't you be cataloging the latest findings? Don't assault me, Dishon. You don't need an ecology degree to do grunt work. Let Kalata do it. Kalata is busy. Then you can do it. You don't look busy. This is why you and I don't talk more. What made you want to become a, um, an archaeologist? You don't seem very excited by the work. The rest of you get way too excited. I'm good at this job, Dishong, it, and it pays well. But why archaeology? You could make more money as a security cop. Honestly, I thought archaeology would involve more action. At least it gave me a chance to leave Mars. I always thought you'd be good in the army. Me too. They wanted me to cut my hair. Yeah, they're pretty old-fashioned. And on top of that... Wait a second, are we having a friendly chat? <laughs> no, no way. Stop trying to butter me up, Dijon. Leave it, Cobra. The magic is gone. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't happen have to have taken my trouble. I don't care about your trouble. But have you seen it? No. <laughs> You don't seem too busy. You're right. Should I be more like you, wandering around aimlessly looking at stuff? No, no, you should stay where you are. The lighting in this part of the cave enhances your natural scowl. 
Okay, I'll leave you alone. Finally. And <laughs> they don't really like each other. The, these mushrooms are so small, I should leave them be. Hmm, okay. Oh, we have a lamp. It's firmly fixed in the ground. Hmm. This mushroom looks a little bigger than the rest. I'm going to take it. Ha! Okay, so we are picking up some stuff. Then we have more mushrooms over here. As so small, I should leave them be. Yep, okay. And this is probably a total, but I kind of wanted to see if there was anything else over here to check out while we are here. Okay, so we have a hole. It reminds me of the holes I dug in my mom's flower beds. I always knew I wanted to be an archaeologist. Hmm. Okay, then micro, yep, 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 science junk. Light markers. Hefty crates. Theodolite in a can. I don't need this stuff today. Hmm. Toolbox. It's password protected. Perhaps I can guess it. Let's try 000000. zero, 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 zero. <laughs> Wrong! What are the chances? <laughs> well, if, there, if we need such a long password, then yeah. Water bottle. It's empty. Hmm, okay, we can't pick it up. Sonic shovel. Broken again. Probably total in one of his moods. I'm an experienced archaeologist. I'm not going to remove a relic just like that. Ah, okay, and then we have another lamp. And the entrance. Is there anything else here we can interact with? Just lots of lamps. Hmm. Well, this lamp looked different than the other lamp lamps. Or is it just because there's another lamp in the back? Seriously, I can't pull them up. I think it's just because there's another lamp in the back there. Okay, so let's head over here. No, no, impossible. Sorry I'm late, Turtle. I overslept. Henry, please, don't distract me with such trifles. I must solve this riddle. Days of work and we are still stuck in the wrong chamber. This chamber is pretty interesting, isn't it? Do you want to spend the rest of the dig in the on the wrong side of a door as promising as this? Well... No. We must be in some kind of antechamber. Our finds have been mostly decorative. And that door... It looks important. Precisely. Why don't we just knock through the wall? No explosives. We can't risk damaging whatever is on the other side. I'll wait yet this door is hiding something very, very important. There has to be another way. These inscriptions, they're the key. But I can't decipher them. Speak friend and enter? No, nothing works. <laughs> I want a closer look at these inscriptions. The markings, they're very crude. I can't be certain, but something tells me these inscriptions aren't really ancient. Maybe Total is wasting his time. I should look for a way to test my hypo hypothesis. What's that? Nothing. They're beautiful inscriptions. I better not say anything to Total until I'm sure. The last thing I need is him having a meltdown. Hmm. Okay, well, they kind of look like, well, almost look like chemical <laughs> formulas or something, but not really because there's all these icons. We have an eye and stuff. Hmm. Uh, okay, then we have another lamp. And all the lamps look unhappy. That is so funny. They're really stuck in the ground. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, so not much we can do about that. How are we... Oh, found out how old it is. Right, 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 right. So, I want to... Oh, no. Ugh. That's the thing. I always press escape. There we go. And then press I instead. Yep, yep, yep. And use it on this. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. According to these readings, the door is no more than 500 years old. That's way more modern than uh, our other findings. 
It can only mean one thing. The ancient door is covered in some kind of clay sediment. And the inscriptions, they must be more recent than the door. Someone carved them onto the clay. The real door must be sealed under the surface. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Then he just uh, says the same thing. Okay, can we do anything with this mushroom? Just because I'm curious. Knocking down the door with a mushroom isn't one of my priorities. <laughs> no, I didn't really mean to knock it down. Can we actually scan the mushroom? The mushroom is around 20 months old. It was ready to be harvested. Okay, so we can scan stuff in our inventory. That's nice. Oh, now I did it again. Man. Stop it. Uh, hmm. Uh, okay, let's try and talk to him again. Total. I've dated the door and it's less than 500 years old. Sorry? I think the real door is buried under a layer of clay. But, but what about the inscriptions? The inscriptions must be recent too. Maybe even less than 100 years old. Supreme Squid. <laughs> Are you sure? I used my geological ge chronometer. Didn't you think of that? I was getting round to it, but they seem so ancient. Perhaps I should have been more skeptical. Hmm. How do you explain the inscriptions then? I think they might not be inscriptions. I think they're gratings. Hmm. Well, this could be good news. Do you think you can clear a way through the door? Um, I'll try. What are you expecting to find behind this door? I think we're looking at pre-cataclysmic remains here, Henry. Pre-cataclysmic? That seems optimistic. We need a little optimism in this job. Any idea how we can get through the door? Now that we know the inscriptions are <clears throat> not of value, we need some kind of reagent to soften the clay and a tool to work it loose. A tool like my trouble? I was thinking of something more modern. Like a thermal pick or a nano de detonator. But yes, if it makes you happy, I suppose your crummy old trouble would do. <laughs> About the inscriptions. Uh, yes, yes, they're not really ancient, I know. I was just going to say, spit it out. It's just that you seem so absorbed in deciphering them. Nonsense. Hmm. Anyway, there's no reason to go blabbing to the others about this. Let's keep it between us, shall we? <laughs> Do you know the password for the toolbox? Cabot. Yes, it was Cabot. No, wait. That's the password for my safe. <laughs> so he doesn't. I think I've lost my trowel. Your trowel? I saw it inside the binocular case near the rubble. Are you sure? Well, at first I thought it was my trouble, but then I remembered I don't use a trouble because it's the 50th, 50th century, so it must have been yours. When did you see the trouble in the binocular case? I just finished my morning checklist, so it couldn't have been later than then, but when uh, later than 10, but when I went back at 11 o'clock, the binocular case had disappeared. I remember because I saw a cobra chewing gum. That's weird, Cobra never chews gum before 12. Precisely, that's how I know the exact time. By 11 o'clock the binoculars were already gone. Somebody must have moved them. I'll look in the rubble, there must be some trace. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that was that. Don't worry, I'll find a way to open that door. Well, I guess we'll try and work on that then. The rubble, the rubble, the rubble. Uh, oh, that's that much. That's over here. Haha. <laughs> Footprints. Interesting. I can make out indentations from the binocular case and heel marks. Uh, okay, she has heels. Like, if it's that kind of heel marks, she doesn't. If it's like from high heels, right? Uh, <laughs> if you only leave heel marks, then it's probably her shoes, right? 
Do -do -do. Nothing else here. Okay, let's try and talk to Kalata. Kalata? You wouldn't know the password for the toolbox. I knew yesterday's password, but the twins change it every day. Mm, where, were, where were you between 10 and 11 this morning? Sorry? Total witnessed the binocular case over by the rubble around 10, but an hour later it was gone. Binocular case? I think my trouble was in the binocular case, and I noticed heel marks around there from your heels, Kalata. Henry, are you accusing me of something? I'm just asking questions, ma'am. Fine, let me think. Yes, I saw the case. It was lying in the rubble and I thought it might get lost, so I gave the case to Micro. What time was that? Around 11.30, I think. No, I'm sure, because Micro was downloading data from the base computer and he got an electric shock. The computer clock stopped at exactly 11.30, the time I gave him the case. So Micro must have your trowel, but if it's in the binocular case, he wouldn't know it. I'll talk to him. Don't leave town, okay? <laughs> See you later. I'll be here if you need anything. Okay, let's try to talk to Micro then. Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. I have to help Max until he gets to the end of the tunnel. But you can't see anything down there. Uh, okay, so he still doesn't... But you can't see anything down there. Eh, uh, ha 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 ha. Bags, lamp. Luke. Hmm. Science junk, toolbox. Okay, let's try and talk to Luke. Is everything okay? Wait, okay, he's reading the locator. <laughs> yep, it's been locked. If you need anything, let me know. How come the toolbox is locked? We always lock up the kit when, it, when we are in the field. Standard practice. I need some tools. Do you know the code? Kind of. It's a lot of numbers to remember every day, so Micro and I remember half. Uh, half each. I know the first four numbers and Micro knows the rest. Do you want me to write them down for you? Don't bother, I have a photographic memory. I don't need to write them down. It's up to you. The password is 5657. 5657 locked. No, no, Kalata. That wasn't a reading. Oh, but it's already been locked. Let me see that. <laughs> I'd better leave them alone. Okay, so 5657. Can we talk for a minute? I can't talk. I have to help. Blah, blah, blah. Mm, okay, so we still have to solve that. Do, do, do. Okay. I'm not sure Cobra can help us, but let's just check. Cobra, do you know the password for the toolbox? No. No, now if you don't mind, I'm very busy. Yeah, so she doesn't know anything. Okay, so it seems like we have to somehow get some light down there, but I'm not... Oh, I didn't mean to click on that. Uh, do, do, do. Sonic shovel, box, lamp, but if we can't take any of the lamps... Um... Oh, can we throw the mushroom down there? It looks like it's kind of glowing, doesn't it? I'm not quite sure what that eye means. Oh, come on. Uh, what if I do this? Fluorescent fungus. Yeah, so let's... Oh, no. Ugh. It's because I'm so used to from other games that you can just press escape to close windows. But here it's... Yeah. So let's do this. Watch out for falling mushrooms, Max. Damn, I've hit him on the head. <laughs> Illuminated hole. And Max is working. Hmm, Okay. You can see the bottom of the hole now. Yes, Max made it down in one piece. Phew! Shouldn't you have some kind of radio contact with Max? Um, we do. But I left the receiver in my other suit. <laughs> it's so unprofessional, it's crazy. Okay, Micro, I need the password for the toolbox. 
Well, don't tell Luke, but I didn't memorize it. I wrote it on a piece of paper. Luke takes password security really seriously. Let me see. 7823, but that's just the last four numbers. Luke will remember the rest. I better get back to watching Max. No, Max, put the cropolite, a uh, cropolite down. And now I have the full. Okay, I know we can ask him something else, but I've already forgotten the last four. Seven, seven, oh, was it 7623? Seven, 7623. Seven, I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe we don't even need it. Ah, nice. I didn't have to remember it, but I think it was five six five seven seven six two three or something like that. Hmm. Most of the tools must be in use. There must be something useful in uh, in amongst these supplies. Ah. Aqua dentata. What a wet bite. Okay. So what is that? And let's try this. Aqua Dentata from the equipment box. It's a potent solvent. Oh, we can e use that on the clay then. Um, okay. Well, first, let's go over and talk to Micro, since we didn't have to remember that. A password. Where were you between 11.30 and 12 this morning? I have witnesses that saw you handling the binocular case at 11.30. My trouble was in that case. Damn it, Henry. Some mysteries are best left buried. Okay, so we can be we can accuse him or suspect him. Okay, we're gonna accuse him. Chakus, micro. Kalata told me everything. You can't hide it any longer. Come clean. All right, all right. Okay then. But don't judge me. Promise you won't tell anyone. My lips are sealed, I just want my trouble. Okay then. When Kalata gave me the binocular case, I saw something shiny inside. I swear I didn't know it was your trouble. But I realized the binoculars weren't in there. Luke is so damn strict about us losing things, I knew he'd be mad about it. There was nothing I could do except get rid of the case. Are you telling me you destroyed my trouble? I... I hid the case in the rocks near the cave cave entrance. Hmm. Thanks, Micro. I promise I won't tell Luke anything. You're a good friend. Uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Aha. Well, it's actually probably Luke or something, if it's supposed to be in French, but yeah. Uh, okay, so we have a box, lamp. Oh, there we go. Rocks. Micro said he hid the binocular case among the rocks near the entrance. I'm getting close. I better look around. No sign of the case or of my trouble. Wait a second, there's a puddle of water here and over there. Chewing gum? Chewing gum? What did Total say about chewing gum? <laughs> okay, so, yep, we are gonna go back and talk to Cobra. Cobra. Well, well, Cobra. Thought you'd gotten away with it. Are you playing detective again? Didn't you end up getting a dead leg last time? Yes, you may have given me a dead leg, but this time I'm ready for you. Uh, go on then. Where were you at 11.30 this morning? I was doing my daily exercises. Unlike you, I like to keep in shape. I have to get her to confess. Okay, intimidate her with witness testimony, overwhelm her with the evidence from the investigation, use reverse psychology. Okay, let's try the last one. Morning exercises, eh? Sounds like thirsty work. Keeping hydrated is not a crime. Of course not. However, there was no water on site, right? So you had to go back to base camp. And when you approached the cave entrance, you found the binocular case. So what if I did? Um, I'm looking for it? Why didn't you just say so? Because I thought you would lie about it, you usually do. I do love to lie. True. 
<laughs> I don't need you to tell me where they are. I can tell just by looking at your face. <laughs> what? You're a good liar, but a bad poker player. And what's that got to do with anything? She was looking a lot to her left, didn't she? See, now she's... <laughs> you get nervous easily. Enough mind games, Deshaun. <laughs> okay. Oh, we can actually do something now. Fluorescent powder. That's from the mushrooms. I've got it. What? Your hands, they're covered in fluorescent dust. I didn't see it until you got nervous and started moving. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't need to say anything, Cobra. This morning you hid my trowel in the binocular case and buried it in the rubble, hoping it would be lost, no doubt. And it would have been if Kalida hadn't stumbled upon it. Later, when you saw the case with my trowel near the entrance, you knew your plan had failed. You decided to hide it again, this time among the mushrooms. That's why your hands are completely covered in luminous mushroom spores. Cobra, 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 all this effort just to annoy me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Also, it took hardly any effort. Okay, so... Oh, no, let's go over here. No sign of the trouble. Okay, let's try the other ones. Oh, there's some over there as well. Maybe in among this bunch of mushrooms. No, it's not here. I suppose Cobra wouldn't hide it so close to her. That is true. Let's try and go over here. No, it's not here. Oh, did we see any other mushrooms? And interact with any of these. Okay, so let's try and go back. Okay, we have mushrooms over here. Oh, no. Aha! My trouble! Another case solved by Detective Deshaun. <laughs> okay, so we got the, tr the trouble and we got the solvent. We are making some progress. Okay, let's see. We need this. Let's see. It's working. The clay has softened, but I still can't remove it with my hands. I need a precision tool to remove it. I need my trowel. Yep, I know. There we go. This should work. The clay comes off easily. Let's see what's underneath. Incredible. It has a handle. Open it, Henry. Open it. We can see what's behind this door at last. Ooh. The door is open total. It's very dark. We need lanterns. We can't waste any more time. Come on, kids. Let's go, Henry. You first. <laughs> Ew. By the Supreme Squid, this is brilliant. Does it say Tropo or something? What is it? It's an ancient mural, Kalata. This is the real deal. It's incredible, perfectly preserved. This discovery will change history. I'm going to date it. Three thousand years old. It's pre-cataclysmic. Of course it's pre-cataclysmic, don't you see? See what? It just says trope. Metropolis. Exactly. The place you were telling me about? Total's lost city. Are you sure about this, Professor? We've been wrong before. It's more than a hunch this time, Cobra. Oh, there's a little M there. So this is Metropolis? Seems kind of small and dingy. 
This isn't the city, Kalada. It's just a clue showing the way. Exactly. So, are you going to go look for it? Can I come to you? Kalata, Metropolis probably doesn't exist outside of Total's imagination. It's Atlantis. It's El Dorado. A city concealing treasures more than 200 million years old. Hmm. Millions? Relics from a time when the world was populated by monsters. They were called Dinotaurs. <laughs> I thought they were just bedtime stories. The legends say their bones lie in Metropolis, and that's all they are, legends. Oh, it is hard to believe a place like Metropolis really existed. Enough skepticism already, archaeology is about curiosity. It would be a sight to see. I thought... Cobra, what are you doing? Me? Nothing. Let me go! Total, what's going on? Are you okay? Who turned out the lights? Ah! What? Ouch! Henry? Careful! They're over here! Quick! They're getting away! After them! Where's Henry? He must be chasing them! Kalata, watch out! Stay close to me! Kalata? Damn it! Run! To be continued. Yep, so if you like the demo, then you can find it, uh, uh, well, add it to your Steam wishlist, indeed. Okay, well, I really enjoyed this, and of course, it's gonna be voice acted, so if it's some good voice act acting they're doing, then it's gonna be even more fun, guys. Um, but yeah, let me know what you thought about it, and as always, thank you so much for watching, do take care, and happy gaming!